Tatyana, a 36-year-old mother of five, was a strong and persevering woman who did not give up easily. She had a degree in management and business administration that she was unable to find any job with. After her graduation, she kept looking for a job in several institutions and put her resume everywhere she could in their town, but all of her efforts were in vain. Even after she got married, she kept looking for work. However, with her unemployment gap, the priority was given to those who had graduated with high degrees from prestigious universities. As if her life wasn't rough enough, Tatyana married a reckless and irresponsible man. Her husband was a hard-hearted and careless man. He was working in a coffee shop in their neighborhood, which meant that the newlyweds only had a modest salary that was barely enough in order to meet their needs and living expenses. Tatyana and Charles didn't work out. They were constantly fighting with a great number of other issues between them that only kept getting worse. Their relationship hit rock bottom after they had three children. Simply put, Charles did not care at all about his wife or his children. He would treat them harshly, as if he was a complete stranger with no emotional ties to any of them. One night, things reached the sumum, and Charles told her that he wanted to end their marriage. He hated their life and no longer wanted to live with her. He left the house, leaving her wife with their three children to face life on their own, with no source of income. Charles left directly after he packed his clothes and his belongings. He told her that she'd received the divorce files enough. After a hellish week where she was a complete emotional wreck, Tatyana decided to pull herself together and start a new life with her children. When Charles left her, Tatyana did not have a single ruble to even buy bread for her family. She also couldn't provide her children with what they needed for their studies. Tatyana couldn't ask anyone for help, not even her own family as they were in the same financial situation as her. The only thing Tatyana owned which had financial value was her small earrings. She decided to sell them and buy her children food and supplies. Knowing that she could no longer rely on anyone, the young mom decided to rely on herself and look for a job. The only issue was that she couldn't work neither as a waitress nor as a cleaner because she had to take her youngest with her. As a result, she was unable to find a job anywhere she looked. Tired of her long run, she decided to resort to her own culinary skills. Tatyana spent all of the little money she had left to buy what she needed to bake. She decided to prepare bread and some pancakes and sold them to passers-by on the roads. Tatyana had to wake up very early in the morning to prepare breakfast for her children and get her school daughters ready. She then put the pancakes and bread in boxes to sell them on the street after she'd take her daughters to school. Tatyana headed with her young son to sell her baked goods. She didn't go back home until it was time for lunch. Her plan worked and many people liked her pancakes. After months of working on the street, selling what she baked, she dealt with many people, all distinct from one another. Some of them treated her nicely while others were cruel and made fun of her. Despite the rude ones and the long days, Tatyana wouldn't go home until her basket was emptied. Her days were all similar until the day she spotted a homeless man who spent his day in the street. The man didn't have anywhere to go to and would stay in the street under all weather conditions. He was an elderly man who seemed to be in his 70s, his clothes were very old and dirty, and he was obviously suffering from malnutrition. Tatyana noticed that he was always sad and sorrowful and did not talk too much. One day, while she was still out selling her bread, she saw him sharing his piece of bread with the cats around him. She was saddened by the scene as it reminded her of the rough times she went through when her husband first left her. Tatyana, being the good-hearted woman she was, decided to help him and offer him a shelter to sleep in. At first, the homeless man refused to go anywhere and told her that he did not want to burden her but Tatyana was quite insisting and told him that he reminded her of her father. She told him that she would be more than happy if he accepted her help. After much effort, she was finally able to convince him. They went together to her modest house that had become his new home. The old man, who was named Tolstoy, became a very important and appreciated member of Tatyana's family. Her children got accustomed to his presence with them. They loved his tales and his words, and they even called him grandfather. After a few months of living with them, he fell ill and his health deteriorated rapidly. He died a few weeks after, leaving a huge gap in Tatyana's life. Her children were very affected by his death as they considered him to be their grandfather and a warm presence in their lives. A week after he passed away, 
there was a knock on the door of Tatyana's house. When she rushed to open her door, she was surprised by the presence of a man in a suit. The man told her that he was a lawyer and wanted to talk to her about a very important issue. The lawyer told her that before the death of Tolstoy, he had given all his possessions to her, which meant that Tatyana and her children became the rightful owners of all his belongings and properties. Tatyana was shocked at what the lawyer told her and explained that the only Tolstoy she knew was a homeless person who had nothing. However, the lawyer told her that he wasn't mistaken and that he had all the legal documents to prove his words. He told her that Tolstoy was actually a millionaire. The old man was a famous businessman who owned a perfume company in addition to several shops in the city. After he lost his wife and his only son in a traffic accident, he had trouble getting over the accident and refused to live in a house that reminded him of them, which is why he left his big house and company and chose to live in the street like a homeless person. The lawyer told her that Tolstoy contacted him only recently, in case something happened to him. He asked him to tell Tatyana that he was very grateful for her help and all she did for him. The only way he could repay her for all her doings was by leaving her the entirety of his fortune. Tatyana felt sorry after knowing about his loss and the pain he must have gone through. To make sure his legacy lived on, she decided to exert her efforts as well as to do his best in order to develop his company. Tatyana was finally going to put her business degree into use. After she became the owner of the company, Tatyana took over managing all the affairs. She worked day and night and made great efforts to raise the company up and increase its profits. Only a year later, Tatyana became a millionaire and their living conditions improved. The young mom bought a large and wonderful new house where she moved in with her children. One day, Tatyana was having lunch with her children in a fancy restaurant. When the waiter came to take their orders, he was shocked and couldn't speak. Charles never thought he'd see his wife again, and definitely didn't expect to see her at such place. He recently heard that she had become a millionaire after seeing her pictures on the news, and regretted bitterly that he had left her years ago. Had he stayed with her, he'd become rich and wouldn't need to work as a waiter. Tatyana, on the other hand, was not affected at all with her encounter. She simply acted like she didn't know him at all. She ignored his efforts to try to talk to her and didn't give him any chance to approach her. After she and her children finished eating, she proceeded to pay the bill then got into her car with her two daughters and son and drove off. She left him standing in the same place, frozen like a statue. Tatyana is a great example of a hardworking mom who would do anything to make sure her children have a decent life.